Welcome to episode 1277, David Veiles, founder of New Bank in Brazil, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1277, lesson 1 to 5, lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, he was a refugee in Costa Rica, born in Medellin, Colombia, in 1981. He and his family fled to Costa Rica when he was nine to escape violence caused by the warring drug cartels. Lesson two, customer's pain equals opportunity. And, and I don't want to deal with these companies and I want to get a cell phone account because it's hard. We actually always saw that as a huge opportunity because everywhere you see frustration, every, everywhere you see a consumer that is in pain, that is an opportunity for a business to come do it better. It was the most painful experience I ever had in my entire life. I would describe it as almost going to jail because you have to go through these bulletproof doors. You have to 60 minutes and then talk to a banking. I had to go to the banking branch maybe 10 times in the course of four months that charged me about $30 per month, an interest rate that had a, that was over 400% a year. Lesson three, changing the Brazil constitution. Initially, five years ago, when we started talking to a lot of the industry people, the overall overwhelming response was, you're crazy, this is a very close sector. Even in seeing the constitution of Brazil, there shouldn't be any foreign investment in banks in Brazil. So we even had to go to the president for a presidential decree after two and a half years to actually get a banking license. Lesson four, recruiting co-founders with complementary skills. This picture of the three co-founders of New Bank. Um, you know, kicking off the business, he had this vision, he had this thesis around financial services, but he didn't know the industry. So he was looking for partners, you know, to get it off the ground. And I was just in the right place at the right time. Similarly, Edward Whipple was recruited as co-founders because of his computer skills. Lesson five on building culture. One of the things that I learned at Silicon Valley and, and that I learned with Sequoia was that the culture of a company is built in the first six months by the first 10 or 15 employees. And so those early days, those early months are, are really critical. And six, no fees and good service. The end consumer by having by not needing to charge that many fees and, uh, and offering a better user experience. Lesson seven. Start small. First investment in New Bank was one million dollars from Sequoia after he lost his job as partner there. As an aid, great timing with internet and mobile penetration. The timing, 2012, 2013, was sort of the right moment where internet penetration and smartphone penetration uh, was getting to a place in Brazil where you could create a fully digital financial services platform where you didn't really need any offline infrastructure. That's an aid, always selling. You're doing is selling. And you're always selling. You're selling former employees or potential employees. You're, you're selling to regulators. You're selling to investors. You're selling to partners. The project was pretty ridiculous for a lot of people. Like a lot of people... We're thinking we, we need a banking partner. We probably talked to 20 banks in Brazil. They all said no. Uh, regulators happened to like the idea. And they were very positive when we talked about competing with the big banks. They could have taken a different approach and said, no, 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 we don't want that. And the story would have been different. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.